Hello all. I am Arifa from Medico Hospitals. Uh, today I am with Dr. Muhammad Irfan. He is a consultant rheumatologist at Medico Hospitals. I am with him to clear few doubts about steroids. Usually people have so many misconceptions about steroids, what are its uses and how should we use it or uh, what age group should be using steroids and there are many other questions that we have and that we are going to clear with Dr. Irfan. So Dr. Irfan sir, uh, so please tell us what uh, what are steroids and why do we use it? So first of all, what are steroids? Uh, basically, steroids are nothing but hormones uh, which are normally produced in the body. Like we have thyroid hormone, insulin hormone from the pancreas. Similarly, we have steroid hormone which is produced from the uh, adrenal glands which are situated uh, over the kidneys. So these are hormones which are normally secreted in the body for normal body functions. So uh, basically, uh, roughly we can say there are two major types of steroids. One is anabolic steroids, also called sex steroids which basically uh, the function is for muscle and bone growth and also reproductive function like our testosterone, estrogen, these are derived from uh, sex steroids and the other major type of steroid is uh, glucocorticoid that is also called, uh, well, that is also known as only steroids like whenever a common man says steroids or a common physician or anyone prefers steroids he means glucocorticoid so glucocorticoid is also called just steroids so uh, steroids are nothing but hormone and coming to glucocorticoid or only steroid the major fun, uh, action of steroid in the body is anti-inflammation it means it suppresses or decreases inflammation in the body so sir what is inflammation okay uh, inflammation is nothing but a response from our body immune system uh, we know we all have our number in our body immune system which is mainly that uh, white blood cells in our blood they deal with the immune system in our body so uh, whenever uh, we uh, uh, counter attack with any bacteria or virus or any uh, allergen or proteins from the outside when it comes into our body our immune system generates a response it is our white blood cells it generates a response and that response is called inflammation basically the white blood cells generate a response to limit the spread of the infection or control the infection or to kill the bacteria or virus this process uh, of uh, generating the response uh, is called inflammation so uh, steroids suppresses this response of immunity that is steroid decreases the immune response it, uh, the immune response can be because of any outside bacteria virus or any protein any form of response steroid will decrease the immune response in our body by decreasing the uh, immunity we can say okay so uh, we have like uh, we use steroids for what kind of diseases yeah yeah in some conditions uh, mostly rheumatological conditions and autoimmune diseases this inflammation, this response from our uh, immune system, sometimes it, it is uh, overactive or we can say the body uh, body feels that there is a bacteria or virus in our body when in reality there is no such organism. So uh, automatically this immune system will get activated and this activated immune system will go and attack our own body, our own tissues. Uh, it could be joints, skin, uh, sometimes internal organs like liver, heart, kidneys and brain. So this auto uh, immunity means self, our own immunity is acting our own uh, organs. So these are called uh, autoimmune diseases. The most common autoimmune diseases are like uh, uh, rheumatoid arthritis in which we feel uh, there is joint and uh, joint pain and stiffness more, mainly in the small joints of the hand and other autoimmune conditions, uh, rheumatological conditions like uh, lupus also called SLV and scleroderma, Sjogren syndrome, uh, gout. Uh, then we have vasculitis and inflammatory myositis. There is a list of conditions wherein uh, there is excessive inflammation in the body and excessive autoimmunity. So steroids are used in these conditions because they overall decreases the immune response from the uh, immune system. So sir, uh, so you you suggest patients to take steroids and all. So when when you are, uh, suggest them, how would patients react? Yeah, yeah, and you see, uh, when we are seeing patients in OPD, we see uh, like a spectrum of patients. Few patients, they will be taking steroids for a long time and with a high dose, uh, knowingly or unknowingly, because some uh, like uh, peripheral local doctor might have given them just for pains, they will be continuously on steroids without realizing that it is having a lot of side effects. And on the other end, we see a lot of patients who are very much reluctant to take steroids. 
whenever we talk about steroids they will feel that it's a very harmful medication that name itself shit yeah. tells yeah so the thing important here is uh, the most important thing is like when should we start steroids and at what dose we should start and when should we stop so i i, I suggest that at a uh, trained uh, qualified uh, either physician or a rheumatologist should be treating this uh, conditions with steroids and because they'll the better person to uh, know like how much dose to start when to taper and when to stop or as patient will land up either in taking excessive dose or they'll be not they'll, they'll like they'll be hesitant to take uh, steroids at all okay so um, like we spoke about the uses but many people don't know what the side effects are so can you please tell me what would be the side effects yeah, yeah. when uh, steroids are taken in a, like a high doses for a longer t- uh, duration of time when like uh, more than needed there are many side effects which can happen it can happen over a short time or a long time also over a short term patient notices uh, increase in the weight and there will be a uh, puffiness of the face there will be like uh, obesity fat deposition over the back and uh, sometimes uh, they can develop hypertension uh, increase in blood sugars and uh, if uh, sometimes uh, sleep disturbances mood changes and if steroids are taken for a long time definitely they can affect the bone growth there will be osteoporosis it means the bones will become weaker and it can also affect eye in form of like cataract and the lens uh, there will be missing layer over the lens and glaucoma the pressure in the eye will increase there are many such side effects if steroids are taken for a longer time longer time duration in higher doses so always like uh, you should consult your concerned uh, physician or rheumatologist who is prescribing steroids because you should know the indication why it is being started and you should know like for how long you will be taking what will be the dose and how will be the tapering done so uh, all these things should be sorted out before starting so what are the precautions to be taken for taking steroids okay uh steroids comes in many forms like steroids uh, we give as oral form in tablets it comes as injection form we give iv or in the muscle it comes as skin uh, in the form of creams or ointments for skin conditions it comes as ear uh, ear drops like that uh, eye drops so uh, overall whenever a patient we prescribe steroids so we uh, tell them like this this is the need for the steroids and we'll be giving for a shorter time Uh, short duration of time and the appropriate dose and gradually taper the steroids the common precaution the patient should follow is uh, like uh, as i told that steroids can decrease your bone uh, this thing so they should be on regular calcium and vitamin d supplementation and also they should regularly do physiotherapy and exercises that will increase their bone uh, growth bone and muscle fun- uh, this thing strength and also they should be properly vaccinated before we are giving high dose steroids uh and uh, steroids sometimes can increase the risk of infection so who, who, uh, a patient who is on higher dose of steroids should uh, should take uh, aseptic precautions like wearing a mask and proper hand hygiene to avoid any uh, infections so so uh, what is rheumatology and what kind of con- uh, what type of conditions you see at medical home hospitals okay uh, rheumatology basically de- deal with all this what i mentioned uh, uh, inflammatory diseases or autoimmune conditions in which the immunity is acting against our own so there is a list of conditions most most commonly is uh, rheumatoid arthritis also called ra uh, and uh, other conditions like lupus or sld uh, wherein there is uh, skin rashes over the face or over the body ulcers in the mouth excessive hair fall and joint pains and fever other conditions like scleroderma where there is thickening of the skin with the whitish discoloration of the fingers and uh, conditions like vasculitis myositis chagrin syndrome all these conditions uh, a rheumatologist will be treating so you must have understood to a lay man steroids means uh, it's an another meaning uh, all together but uh, from dr irfan we could understand so many we got so many insights about steroids rheumatology it's you uh, steroid uses side effects and all i hope it was a good educational video for you for you all Uh, for more videos like this please do subscribe to medicover youtube channel thank you thank, thank you, you.